Americans. We are learning the identities of the six men who were arrested during a massive catalytic converter bus. It's a story we first brought to you in an exclusive last week. The suspects are believed to be part of an organized crime ring that would steal catalytic converters. Some of those men appeared in court today. Anieli Ruiz has been reporting on this suspected crime ring since Thursday. What have you learned today, Anieli? Well, in a 17 page charging document, investigators go into detail on how this organization operated using Instagram. It's being called a sophisticated organized criminal entity that would cut, purchase and sell stolen catalytic converters. And just today, the Houston Police Department released the mugshots of five of the men arrested during the raid on Thursday. The first man you see here on the top left of your screen is 40-year-old Armando Martinez Sr. Next to him is 18-year-old Armando Martinez. The bottom is 21-year-old Isaac Castillo. The man in the middle, 19-year-old Jose Martinez. And the last man is 20-year-old Terrence Elder. All of them being charged with engaging in organized criminal activity. The police union president, who's been very vocal about this, says officers have been working very hard for months trying to catch these guys. Uh, this is a big racket. It's there's a lot of money involved in it, and it, it took some real time to get get what they needed in place to be able to take them all down the way they did. Court documents identified 40 year old Armando Martinez Sr., who you see here in court today as a mid level mid tier buyer. The filing describes how he allegedly would advertise on Instagram and put out a list of specific models they were interested in purchasing with the price. It's like walking into a restaurant, looking at the menu. What do I need to get today? This is what I want. All right, we'll be right back with it. And investigators believe his home was a primary residence where people would drop off stolen converters and then Martinez Sr. would purchase them, then allegedly sell them out of state. They're going all over. They're even going to Mexico. Uh, they're going across the border. We, we've been able to track them to different places all over the country. And the union president says he hopes these men receive a harsh punishment because he says some of them are also carrying guns and shooting victims. We've had at least five people shot trying to stop someone from stealing catalytic converters. So it's not just a nonviolent crime. These guys are carrying weapons as well, and apparently they're not afraid to use them. Armando Martinez Sr. did bond out over the weekend, but he was taken back into custody today. His bond amount was increased. Four of the men arrested are in jail, except for 20-year-old Terrence Elder, who you see here, he has bonded out. Now, one of the men arrested on Thursday is no longer in jail and has no active charges related to this case. By the way, we did contact various of the various organizations that participated in this raid, asking them what they were going to do with the confiscated converters. And of course, as soon as we hear back from them, we'll let you guys know. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. Quite an investigation, Anayeli. Thank you.